Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madam Shaza and I teach science for Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3 at Sekolah Menengah Sains Tuan Kumnawe. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about inhalation and exhalation mechanisms. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe the breathing mechanism. Before we start, place your hand on your chest and then breathe in and breathe out. Can you feel your chest rises and fall during breathing? The breathing mechanism involves two processes, which are inhalation and exhalation. During breathing, the lungs expand to inhale air into it and return to their normal size to pump air out. The movement of the ribs and the diaphragm bring about breathing. The air passes from nostrils to nasal cavity, to pharynx and to larynx, to trachea, to bronchus, to bronchial and at the end into the alveoli. During inhalation, intercostal muscle contracts. This causes the rib cage to move upwards and outwards. At the same time, the diaphragm also contracts. The diaphragm will move downwards and become flat. This causes the volume of the thoracic cavity increases. Increase in the volume of the thoracic cavity causes the pressure inside the thoracic cavity to decrease. And because of the pressure of the air in the surrounding is high, it pushes the air into the lungs. During exhalation, the intercostal muscle relax. This causes the ribcage to move downwards and inwards. At the same time, the diaphragm also relax. This causes the diaphragm to return to its original shape. Hence, the volume inside the thoracic cavity decreases. Decrease in the volume causes the pressure inside the thoracic cavity to increase. Because of the pressure inside the thoracic cavity is higher than the pressure outside, so the air is pushed out to the surrounding. So today you have learned the mechanisms for inhalation and exhalation. Just to recap, during inhalation, the intercostal muscle contracts. This causes the ribcage to move upwards and outwards. At the same time, the diaphragm also contracts. This will cause the volume of the thoracic cavity to increase. Hence, the pressure inside the thoracic cavity will decrease. As a conclusion, the air is forced into the lungs. During exhalation, the intercostal muscle relax. This causes the ribcage to move downwards and inwards. At the same time, the diaphragm also relax. This causes the diaphragm to return to its original shape, which is a dome shape. This causes the volume of the thoracic cavity to decrease. This will cause the pressure inside the thoracic cavity to increase. Since the pressure inside the thoracic cavity is higher than the pressure of air outside, the air is forced out of the lungs.